can actually see the results of the last work I did but in the clarity of daylight so that's my panel it's all just surface rust so I'm really happy with that uh, a few bits to trim off down there what's less good is just the extent of the rust in this point um, there is the end of the chassis rail which will clean up because that's like two mil thick steel this I think I can just cut the end off hammer it around and tack it on bottom edge will need to be trimmed off um, and then we'll carry on but it has actually just started raining again which is annoying made a tiny bit more progress repaired those bits for which I made the tabs I've trimmed off up here this is about where I'm going to cut it so I've just trimmed off a bit there I'll clean that bit up I'm keeping that profile section because when I come to weld the other skin back on I don't want it to end up as a butt weld uh, well it probably will it will be a butt weld but what I mean is I want something on the back side that I can get a lot of heat into so because this is already basically the right profile I'm going to trim that end off slide it up in there tack it on and it will form a shelf for the other skin to sit on top and then I can leave like a one or two mil gap and make a big fat wobbly weave weld through there to make it all nice and strong these will all just be plug spot welds <clears throat> and I'll probably do something similar on this end cleaned or started cleaning up that bit got the flanges off there then I've trimmed off that bottom edge just so it's out of my way while I'm arranging to put the new wing on still don't quite know where I'm going to join it here I'm starting to think maybe I should come in here because then at least I'll lose that bit of rot when you put your finger up inside that hasn't come through it is literally just this outer lip that's tacked on that holds the stainless steel rain gutter the reason I didn't really want to disturb it is because that rain gutter is a real pain in the butt to fit anyway the, the trim so if I cut and join I have to make sure it's absolutely cock on straight um, otherwise it'll be a pain later on it was all going so well uh, then it started raining I started getting sloppy and I was being an idiot and I didn't put my plastic bag on the rear glass and then I did some grinding and I've burnt grindings into the glass which is really really irritating this isn't particularly rare glass uh, and it's not etched with the number plate so it's not a massive deal I've also ruined this window here because my cling film protection was a little bit in the wrong place and you can see all the damage it's done but I've got another one of these glasses at home so that's not a massive deal uh, I decided to trim out that rain gutter just a little bit higher that also means I can repair the drain tube which I broke or chopped up last time that bit will come off too I just wanted to do it in sections so I could see what I was doing fortunately there was only one spot weld there if once I just put a saw through there this bit will come off then I can start prepping the donor panel to go on I've got bored of doing the nice neat stuff well it's not neat but you know hacking bits off I thought I would start trimming this down so I've taken some very crude measurements of where I'm going to cut uh, I'm making sure I'm cutting off or I hope I'm making sure I'm cutting off um, a panel that's too big then I'll offer it up and very gently sand this back until it fits nicely so yeah I'm gonna get the grinder I'm always a bit apprehensive about doing this sort of stuff because if you fuck it up it's not irreparable it's just not gonna make for quite as neat a job well you get the general idea wants to come forward quite a lot I think I've cut off more than I need which is good that's what I wanted um, looking at the gaps I've got to the arch and the front I think it it's all looking like it wants to go forward about the same amount and what's stopping it at the moment is this flange at the back and it's a bit freddy so I might just chop it off and then uh, worry about that later right this is a game of slowly slowly catchy monkey I have been gently sanding the ends off top and bottom 
Um, I also had to trim a bit of the boot lip down there, which I'd forgotten about. But we are getting close. I think I just need to take a little bit more off of the rain gutter there, which is clashing. Um, so I'm just gonna, you can see the pen line I've drawn on. Just gonna take that bit off and then hopefully you should move a little bit further forward and just nip off that bit because that's stopping it. We are getting somewhere close. If you look at that body line there, it actually lines up pretty well. And the gap to the door looks nice and it fits really well with the sill end down here, which I'm pleased with. The gutter, yeah, I can move that, that'll all work. At the back, SD1s never fit particularly well here, but so long as that swage line and that swage line look good, and they're the only ones you see, because a, a light goes in there, tailgate covers that bit, and a badge bar covers that bit. So so long as that bit's okay, you're winning. Um, what's a bit odd, is that it's not fitting so well against that seam. It wants to come up a couple of mil. Fits nice around the fuel filler flap, maybe wants to go up a tad. What can happen with some of these panels is when they're laid flat in storage, they can sort of close up a bit. So it might mean that I just clamp or tack weld that bit and that bit, grab a pair of pliers and yank that flange up or smash it up from underneath. I don't know yet, I haven't worked it out but it's all looking pretty good. Uh, I haven't ballsed up and cut too much off. If anything, I still need to cut, well, I definitely will need to cut stuff out of here. Um, and my wheel arch lip, <coughs> I'm pretty pleased that it's sitting tight because um, it was actually, a, a, you know, quite hard to push that on. So that's good. What's less good is, you know, I was talking about having that return not at, um, dead horizontal, actually bending up a bit. I think out, out of caution, I've gone a little bit too far. It's not super critical because I can crimp it up and hammer it. But um, what I might do is before I come to put that on and tack it on, I will get a pair of pliers and just bend it down all the way around. So I'm at least part of the way there. Uh, I'm also going to look at how best to rebuild the bits I'm missing in here um, because I haven't done that yet because I was being lazy and I got excited but yeah I'll be thinking around that a little bit more. The, again camera doesn't show it but it's getting dark and it has been raining on me so um, I might call it a day fairly soon. I don't know this isn't a proper sign off I don't really do sign offs very well because I don't know what I'm up to half the time but yeah. And that's progress so far. I am feeling pretty smug, but also pretty annoyed because, um, well, the smug thing is because it's lining up really well now. Even the fuel filler flap is basically perfect. All the way down the door is lovely. That's all nice. I bent that wheel arch lip up a little bit more so I shouldn't have trouble spot welding it. That line there is much, much better. It's still not perfect. That's the overspray on that shelf here the level is perfect I don't know if you can see that um, at the front it's a little bit low but I don't really care uh, up here it's good that rain gutter that all wobbles around in free air at the moment so that can be sorted one of the reasons it wasn't lining up perfectly well was down here the outer skin was rubbing on the bumper mount but I boshed a screwdriver through and then lifted it up and it all came into line nicely and it lines up at the bottom pretty well too. So uh, as a summary, I'm happy now that I've trimmed off enough to get that to puff, sorry, I can't talk, panel to fit nicely enough. It's going to be a case over the next few days of trimming the remaining parts, prepping the whole of that inner sill with rust killer and um, anti-corrosion paint then drilling all the holes around the wheel arch lip along that flange along that seam ready for plug welding same along there and then welding it on 
One last thing to check, and I haven't done it yet, and I'll have to do uh, this with the phone out of my hand, is to lower the tailgate and just make sure it all lines up nicely there. Pretty happy with that. This is the benefit of having not taken these panels off the car. Uh, they have been my datum point. So both this door and that tailgate are my reference features. So if they look good with those, it's fine. When this is on, then I can chop out the lamp pan or the boot floor, put it all back together and know that it's somewhere close. Right, I am actually a bit wet and it's cold. Uh, so I'm gonna call it a day. The weather forecast over the next few days looks pretty crap. So this is gonna be the end of this section. Um, when the weather clears up, I'll be back out here with my Rust Bondo primer stuff um, prepping and then hopefully welding that bad boy on there. So until then, goodbye.